Hello there. Welcome to another exciting episode of Fargo Retro. Uh, today we are again streaming here Uncharted Waters New Horizons for the Super Nintendo. So let's go ahead and get into it. Yeah. Reminder, if you don't remember, I'm using the PlayStation controller from the uh, PlayStation Classic. Uh, when it was $30, I was like, oh, that's a pretty good price for a USB controller. Uh, so let's get into it here. Ooh. I think the audio and everything is working just fine. My birthday. That's not good. Check something out. It looks like that. Okay. Alright, so if I recall correctly, we were trying to sell an iguana, and the king took it from us, and he wants something else, so, uh, we're gonna have to go find something the king wants. Uh, yeah, I can't give this guy the iguana, the king did not want the iguana, so I gotta go get some good stuff. So I'm thinking I'm gonna sail up South America again. Um, trade chart. Let's start with the screen here. Trade shirt. Uh, shirt of That's right. There we go. Okay, so uh, we're back to the Let's sort this by location. And we are going to go so. Basically, I'm trying to see if they want raisins in the new world. Not really. Okay, that makes sense. We'll sail up to Mercator, see what that dude is up to. Slow start there. But we are off and sailing. Two galleons, four carracks as a battle fleet, five galleons and a carrack. A little bit heavier. Let's see what they're up to. Hello, friend. Hunting Italy. Italy. So England might be a war with Italy, it looks like. Yeah, me. So we'll probably load up on glass beads here, bring them to uh, that port in uh, uh, Santa Cruz, and then on to the New World. So uh, we're here to sell some of our world maps, see if they want any of that. Yeah, that's not bad. Let's see how much money we got now. I can just check that. That's what it is here, right? So we're just about 60 bars and three stacks of coins. So that's not too bad. Um, but we can always be richer. Ooh, what we got here? If it be true or not, they say that the Prince of Portugal is up and disappeared. Oh dear!
let's just head to the lodge here and get something suspicious and we'll see what's going on here. Some story going on. So the Prince of Portugal's missing, huh? We gotta get to the shipyard now. What a chase. So there's all kinds of harassment going on here. The Pirate Con. <laughs> What's this? An interruption? The captain, help! Save! What are you doing with Domingo? You're leaving me no choice, boy. Alright then, let's get rid of both of them. Oh, I think we're gonna see our first duel. Okay, so we're gonna see the dueling system. Okay, so I might be in trouble here. So I'm going to attack with a lash. He failed to parry. I need to figure out he has a bastard sword. I need to dodge, I think. Lash, dodge. Nope, that did not go well. I need to slash at him. Look at this. I'm pretty sure I'm going to die here. I am never any good at this, so... We block, just block, thrust, you have to th parry a thrust. Boom, down. Oh no, what do I do? Oh, this is entirely too exciting, what do we do? I know, let's trade goods real quick before we get out of here. Alright, no, we just have to go, huh? Okay. Word. So I don't have to win that battle. Okay, just double checking. I'm not going to lose anything for not winning that battle or anything, so. Okay. Yeah. Catalina the Pirate just almost fought us in a duel. We lost to the Pirate Khan. Over. It turns out I am the prince all along. So, 
How exciting. To eliminate me. Oh no. Yikes, shiver me timbers and blow me down. We gotta get back to Lisbon double quick. Alright. So I wanted to do something other than trading this game. Uh, it looks like I will. Uh, we got we got stuck up in the story here, so we're not even gonna supply our ship. We're gonna hit the hit the seas off to Lisbon, sailing out from Amsterdam here. The wind's not really doing us any favors, so we'll use a little frame skip, huh? Is a treat. That's all. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you get pretty good at the frame skip there. Alright. So now what do we do? Do we go to the king? Ah, oh, it's three in the morning. Go in here and they'll be like... Don't you think you should go to the king? So, here we go. The day of the trial. Gonna run into Mumsy here. <laughs> I was genderless, wasn't my disguise disguise good? This fight here. Um, we got a pretty good thrust, pretty good slash. So let's try the slash here. So you dodge a slash. So let's parry, parry a lash. Nope, not even close. Alright. So I'll slash again. He won't make. He won't dodge twice. <laughs> Let's do a nice block, huh? Block a lash. Okay, I blocked the lash. We're gonna thrust. Parry this. Got him a little. Okay. Man, that's a big block, so hopefully... somewhere we gotta let's parry let's parry a thrust nope not even close let's get in there with a lash wow no damage uh oh um that's a big block let's try it oh come on what are we gonna do here we're just totally outmatched we didn't we didn't spend any time fighting. We spent all the time trading carpet for art. <laughs> uh, um, I forgot there would be pirates at some point. So here we go. Oh, oh no, that's the game ender. <sighs> so we should. Uh, we aren't gonna die, but.
Oof. Okay. Alberto, he's all cleaned up. Let's go. He's gonna kill my mom. That was messed up, man. The pirate sucks. I lost both those fights against that guy, too, so I'm gonna commit some piracy, I think, after this. I'm pretty upset. I'm pretty upset. I don't know about you guys, but I think it's time to be a pirate, so. Clearly that Duke Franco is guilty. Well, hey, first of all, that's my pops. So... <gasps> yeah. Let's see, is there any witnesses? Well, here's the guy that my dad's accused of murdering. Um, Father, I've returned. In the short, I've traveled to several countries and I've learned a few things along the way. Oh, very fun. Curses. <laughs> this guy just goes home, like, <laughs> accusing his other guy of murdering his son. It's like, well, I'll get you next time. Alright, Wacky Shack. Let's go home and see what's happening there, huh? get messed up, so... Noise! Just inherited the family sword. Greetings, Franco family! Alright, so we will catch up with the prince here. Where'd he go? So he's at the dock. I'm not actually trying to set sail though, you know what I'm saying? Stuff I gotta do, where's he mean? Oh, I have to do that first before we can ever touch it goodbye. I have to... Um, so let's appoint a new captain, I guess. Okay. For which ship? Ship. Okay, I have no idea what was happening here. Um, then... There we go. I think we're good. Um, it sucks I lost those fights, so I think we're going to get into some piracy. Um, I'm trying to show one up, but it was really fun. Yeah. Take care, guy. 
Um, so he's out of here. So it looks like we're gonna get back to it here. Okay. Um. Sounds good, bud. So we need to seriously assess some piracy options here. Um, so the galleons can be refitted for combat pretty easily. Um, I don't have a huge fleet. Um, now is less so. Um, let's see if we can get some Carex or something. I might have another galleon being built, actually. So. We'll see if there's any mates to hire. We'll make a tiny amount of money. And then we will buy some combat ships. And then I think we will go ahead and do some piracy after that. So I'm going to have to pick a nation to pirate against. Um, I can kind of determine that by clicking on the character info. Checking on your Commodore. I think the second page will have my relations, right? So Spain and England do not like me. So I go beat up on England. That'd be pretty easy, I think. So, yeah. Um, England has... What does England have? We're gonna just sail to Seville here. Um, I'm gonna see, I might have a combat ship under production. If not, um, I'm gonna plan to do some trading. Uh, I'm gonna take some carpet, bring it up to Amsterdam, sell that for beads. Bring that to the New World, to go to the New World, get some vanilla, come back to Lisbon, and hopefully have a ship or two built. So, sounds like a fun time. Let's do it. Shipyard. Let's see if I have anything being built. Nope. Okay. So what do we have for used ships? Just buy a galleon outright. No wait. Jobs all goofed up, so let's reappoint my guys. I don't really 
looks like I don't really have very many fighters. We'll do 200 bonks, 70 guns, oh yeah, take two months to build that ship, so, um, cool, so I guess we'll go grab some trade goods, let's just start in Istanbul, and supply, Cost me a little bit of gold there, but you know. So it's a little bit of um you know commemoration of Bernie Sanders here dropping out of the race. We're going to use just a little bit of time warp as a treat. So we'll just stop right in Athens here. Allied with Holland. And readjust ship cargoes. people of Athens, I guess. We're gonna buy some art. As we be do. a whole gang of art. Time to take it on the high seas and sell it. Okay, so I think we're going to take this whole lot just straight to Amsterdam then. Supply. 
can see we actually get increased our um, days that we were able to sail because we need more of that excess food and balance it out with water, so... Um, we're gonna go ahead and just use it as a treat here. So you lose track of a little bit of like time when you do that, which kind of sucks, but um, it's kind of cheating. Um, but. Sell goods. It's not save states coming, so there's that. So a lot of carpet there. Boom. We use that carpet to buy a whole gang of beads. Adjusting the cargo hold of the second ship. Should be able to get all of that stuff back in. That's pretty cool. I'm actually going to go ahead and buy another set of beads. Alright. So we got two cargo holds full of beads. And uh, it's gonna rest the development joke there, bees. Uh, 18 days. Can we get to Santa Cruz in 18 days? I believe so. right there. Some gold. What are we going to do with the gold? What are we going to do with the gold? I don't Sell some more beads. What do I do with this gold then? Where does, where does that sell the best? I have an idea.
So that's why we were in bed, in bed, uh, investing in Santa Cruz. They now sell gold. Uh, and gold is going to be fairly lucrative for us, I think. Uh, so we're going to supply up. Supply all. As best as we can. And... Here we go again. This time we are going to Genoa. And again, we're going to go ahead and speed it up there. Take a quick nap. See if there is a sailor for hire. At this cafe, you don't say. Oh, well, we got time for midnight. 10, head to the cafe, should get out by 11.30. See what we got in here. Nicolo Montoya. Sailor, that's gonna be replace the prince. Probably a better sailor than the prince, I would imagine. So we're gonna do a little light trading here in Genova. So first up first, take the cane. gonna do buy some silver it's kind of arduous but we are not going to buy the whole amount that we could way to manipulate the market. What we're trying to do is we're trying to drive up the price of precious metals in this market, okay? So, because uh, if you remember, if you recall, we have a hole full of gold in one of our galleons, right? So, we are just going to bid up, again, in 50 unit increments, manipulating the market up to 150. Seems a little expensive. You are right. You are right, bud. So I'm actually going to lose a tiny amount of money on the silver here. So, um, when I end up selling it, that is what it is because we are looking for a big old gold payoff. And so there's only so much more I can afford of this, though. I don't have a ton of capital. Take a look at our gold hull now. Boom! Let's try this. Bam! I wasn't willing to wait any longer, but we broke a hundred bars. We broke a hundred bars. Uh, for the silver, I'm gonna just have to dispose of that somewhere else. Um, glass beads. Three. So we're just gonna load up. Let's 
So we started with some adventure here. Uh, realized we need to get into some piracy. We gotta make a little money before we can afford to do that. Uh, so we're on some final sort of exploration trading runs here. And a sail to Amsterdam once again. Uh, that's a little gonna end up being a little bit of a favorite destination of ours. Again, as a treat, it ruins the music again, but speeds through the time there, so. We're now in Amsterdam. We are gonna sell. What are we gonna sell here? We should have some silver to sell. Sell goods. Kane should have some silver. We lose a ton of money. We should average out okay. We have a full hold of glass beads. We're gonna do a little bit of more cargo manipulation. Load up on some more beads. some more beads. And then we will load them up and once more to Santa Cruz. Come on. I don't know if you notice I use the speed up there to get through the menu. Once I start using the speed up, I can't stop. That's why I don't like to use it, so. You can skip through the whole game that way. You're supposed to enjoy things. Let them drag out, is my understanding. Uh, West Africa, Santa Cruz. And again, we're gonna use the speed. Boop. Off we go. So, we're gonna let these markets cool for a minute. We're just gonna sell some last minute beads to pay for some food and stuff. And then we're gonna actually try and explore a little bit. Fixing to sail this way. And we're just gonna speed our way to the new world. Found some islands. We've already explored that place, so we'll just hang up the coast here. Trying to trade or stop or nothing. We're gonna see how far we get out this coast. Maracaibo. Make sure our, I'm assuming everybody's on their mission, so let's take a peek. So again, we are full in Venezuela here. Cartagena. Let's stop in Cartagena, but we're gonna just keep going up the coast. There's Panama, Porto Velo, not 
connected, you do have to sail all the way around to get them. Vita Lake. Cool. So it really easy discoveries this game. Mamola on the wrong side doesn't help us any. Ooh, another ship. Pretty big merchant ship. Should have talked to him, seen what he was up to. Well, go up to the islands, but I want to keep exploring the coast here. Uh oh, something's happening. What do we get? An enormous tornado and swallowed our fleet. Really? lose a ship for just no reason, I think, here. Um, I don't think we had anything. I think we only had food. So I think we ended up okay there, actually. So that's cool. That means we gotta be careful of events and such. Those are all more likely here. Veracruz. Mexican port. Got another village. some cool a cultural artifact the jade mask the mask encrusted with small pieces of jade its eyes holds give it a somewhat ominous appearance mm, cool that'll get the king off my back First month at sea here. Health is all still okay. There's gotta be a city here. Come on, where's New Orleans at? Where are you at, New Orleans? I didn't want to sail up there just in case there wasn't anything, but I swear there's a resupply port or something. Come on. Come on, Florida. I gotta have like a St. Augustine. Otherwise, we gotta go to Cuba. Alright, Havana. Spanish merchant fleet. He's a previous fleet as well. Right, I'm hoping for big level ups here. For big level ups. to the Fuertes. Some of the realists to ever do it. Um, let's get some vanilla or some mentos here. Uh, we're looking for, do we need to restock our crew any? No. Um, what, the weather? Yeah, the weather is nuts. 
What? It's like sleet. Yeah, it's it's insane. Whatever it is, it's 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 bizarre. Yeah, so if you live in the Fargo area, whatever's going on weather-wise right now is is pretty interesting. I do recommend looking your looking out the window. In fact, I might go do that in a minute here because it is it's like sleet. I found a pirate. I'm gonna treat him. You wanna come work for me, pirate? Well, let's see here. So it's enough weather talk for one minute. Um, what are we doing here? Do we have a job? I think we have a job. On a royal mission yet. Okay, so this guy wants my mask bad. So we're gonna actually keep sailing though. It didn't really seem like anybody had anything good to buy. Supply all. We are gonna sail up the coast of North America here. So I should have saved. There. You should never save at sea. But whoa, the weather just got even crazier. Are you seeing this right now? Sarah, look at it now. It's like circling. Oh yeah, whatever's going on outside is is it's it's doing its own thing. That's really cool. That would definitely be more interesting than this game. But alas, we gotta sail up the Mississippi, it looks. Here we go. What we got? Get a plant, I bet it's the tobacco. Venus flytrap. Lit. So, Venus flytrap, you can get somewhere in, I don't know, Missouri. Let's keep heading up this way. to stop here because if the winds go the other way down it's going to take forever to... we're almost to the end and there's nothing okay so the river terminates so what i'm going to do is actually i'm going to set the uh, this i don't know what to call it central america set the auto for it's, it's going to take a while we're just going to go right back to the van map that river and then we are gonna resupply and head up the coast of uh, North America we'll save quick that's weather now the sun is full on out but it is sleeting it looks like styrofoam right, i'm gonna have to get up and check this out in a minute here is it like melting okay well i'm gonna go check this out really quick
Alrighty. Well, that was in as bizarrely as it started. It is over. So, um, again, if you were wondering why there was just a chair here, um, So this is one of those times you actually do want to sleep over a 12.30 interval here because you can lose an extra day and then that storm can be a day farther out of the game's memory. So let us go. Not even gonna take those two days of supply. Well, we're. I'm just gonna go down. <laughs> that was a bad beat. So let's reload our save, and we'll see where we were with that map of. Uh, uh, the Mississippi or whatever it was. There we go. So that's death. Only death number one, really. I think death number two. We've had a couple deaths that we've kind of jipped over by, uh, excuse me about that, uh, skipped over by, um, save, saves coming or whatever, so, um, let's see what this lady has to say. What are the fortune teller? So we'll just wait a couple days outside of town, actually. We have the court, we have the ships in a little harbor here, a little bay. We're protected more or less. It's a pretty bad storm, so we're not gonna be able to figure out how to wait that out in town to just keep coming up, popping out, hitting the storm. It'd be a bad time, so. Best thing we can do is wait it out this way. I think it's receding. Oh, okay. Cross. Oh, is that a pirate coming to get me? Yeah, 100%. He saw me waiting out there. Cutthroat. Alright. 
Okay. Keep on saving. Anything up here? Down the village. They're tired of sailing. No, we're in trouble. Okay, passenger pigeon. Try and sail a little bit without addressing our situation. I have a supply for it. Keep cod. I suppose there's no real towns up here. So one of our best bet to replenish our crew is back at Havana, huh? That would make the most sense. We definitely have enough if we go 100 navigation. Two smaller ships, and then we'll split the remaining. Okay. Yeah. I guess we'll sail to Cape Cod. as much of the rest of North American coast as exists. Especially because I think one guy's job is to map everything. So, the Joao Franco, he is an explorer, so it's in his purview to at least map North America. That makes sense. Oh boy. Nothing 
mess everything up. I don't have any crew looking out. St. Lawrence Seaway here a little bit, see if I Niagara Falls or anything. Let's check out the map. Yeah, we are getting there. but no explorations. Some Hudson Bay. I don't know if we're going to get out of here. So it's food for days. That AI is so bad. It was right there. I thought I could at least let it sail into the harbor. So I can't trust the auto sail. Get some good level ups, get some supplies there. Didn't really help a ton, I'm not gonna lie. So Take a quick peek here. stuff that's like super worth developing up here.
gonna actually try and take Havana away from the Spanish. I'm sure that works. And what did their loyalty change? It sure did. So. Cool. Um, we're gonna try and transfer some cargo now. with either vanilla or coral. I'm going to get her vanilla. Vanilla is the one to go here. So... Loaded up on some vanilla there. Start, we're gonna save. Whoops, we get select, we're gonna save. And we're gonna take the vanilla to Istanbul. Do it one trip, all the better. So, one more space, we might not be able to. Just gonna. One of our ships is missing. So. I think we'll just sink. save because I thought something like that could happen so we'll try and sail closer to the islands then. about to happen. Better not be my tornado. Uh oh. A ship with broken masts and decayed sails approached us soundlessly. Santo Domingo.
crew is fully restocked on our ships. Just gonna have to wait out some storms here. So there's actually something we haven't done much of, but let's now that we have a little pocket change. Oops, we might have missed it. So hopefully it's 2.30 when we come out. Yeah, okay. Let's go to the item store. If you go between two and three, basically so two or two thirty. For a limited time only, we are selling some really special items you don't normally see. So, balm and rat poison. So let's get some balm. Yeah. Get a couple balms. I'm using the frame skip pretty liberally. sword while we're at it. I think I got enough bulbs to last us across the trip here, so supply up and we'll sail out of here. Save while sailing. Literally on cue, a storm starts. <laughs> Could not have been timed better. stop back. We'll actually see if we have any damage that we need to repair on our ships. Um, they all have a little bit of damage. save again. Supply up again. And seal it again. So this time if we run into a storm, I'm going to try and wait it out a little longer. Rather than heading back right away. Just sailing, we can assign the crew to just sail. We might go a little bit faster.
storm just goes away. So we'll head straight north. Usually that helps escape storms. There we go. What do we got here? <laughs> this is Denmark? Greenland? No, oh, okay. How did I end up this first? South of Africa. Wow, okay. Yeah, I'm looking deep West Africa here, so. Bissau. Yeah, I'll stop at Bissau. guys have an item shop. Hug the coast, I'll still discover stuff. So I think we're gonna get the most money for the vanilla again in Istanbul. And now that we're here, we should be able to just auto sail. Sell all that vanilla, hopefully for like 250 something. 280? Sign me up. up there, that's a dump. Boom, just auto sailing. You need a lot more done when you auto sail. Oh, I lost my viewer. Aww. Big shout out to whoever that person was the whole stream up to this point. They didn't like when I started using the auto sail. The purists, I understand. I understand completely. Um... Uh... So I'm going to save here before I talk to the king. So I don't want to give him all my good discoveries. I don't know what's good or not. Squire Franco. I got some gold. Ship. Nah. How's our sphere of influence?
right, so... We're free from this guy's yoke. Take some rock salt. Alrighty, so let's sell some. Maybe we sell the carpet here for the same. It doesn't matter. Uh, let's check on our bank account. We'll check on that in a while. Hopefully, it's in like the 230s. 189, what? for some of these discoveries, huh? my gold any um but we're gonna have to go sell our map and then we will make a couple of quick stops you guys, but it's Dublin. Allied with England, are they? Well, we're going to actually go into their shipyard, make a big ol' investment. same thing now to Bristol. So a quick... I was probably the Irish Sea. Was it the sea that separates Ireland and England? Great Britain. Britain. It's probably the Irish Sea, I would guess. I don't know for sure. English... Not the English Channel, obviously. Um... free to comment in the chats if you know if it's the Irish Sea or not. Oh, how did I know that guy 
Kyle's gonna be looking for me already. He hears about all this cool stuff I'm doing. Freaking King of Portugal, man. Health on our ships is starting to dip a little. That ought to help. Uh, seems like English piracy should be pretty easy. I'm trying to get influence the ports right around the London, because that's where all the ships are going to be, right? So if I get them all allied with me, again, it's going to piss off the Dutch a little bit, but tis what tis. I'm strategically picking the ports that I'm investing in. So... You ain't wrong there, boss. This that NPC, he is a smarty pants. Things for you. It's just boom, big stack. Seville. You're just gonna sleep. Go grab our ship. dragon on there. Yee. Yeah, we put some guns on it.
this one's right. So Cannon, Demi Cannon, Cannon, Cadero, Colbury. Range power price. That seems cheap. Demi Colbury. Colbury is expensive. other ships as well. I did not. I already did, actually. Thank you for letting me know again. <laughs> get to any piracy here. I'm very upset. The tube. Lit. Okay. So, is there anyone we can hire? Right now, Bernando. Sanchez, or is that Bernie Sanders? <laughs> so what do we got? Some negotiate, some navigate. He can do work. Sure, if that was helpful or not. Um, let's take a look at our arrangement of our fleet now. Cool. So, we'll probably need to get this guy working on another galleon. Take a 
look our other galleons. Probably get them combat ready too. And see if we can still fight a fight quick before we get out of here. Model these other ones then. So the first thing you do is put a dragon figurehead on it. Makes it look fearsome, like a dragon. Do the same thing to the cane. Smaller ones on our nows. Oh, all of our ships have figureheads. some load capacities here, so the Tudor and the Cane are getting more bunks. More guns, less cargo. Same thing to the Cane. Some guns on both the Tubal and the Cane. And I believe we figured out Culverin. We out here spending money to outfit this armada, but now we have three pretty powerful galleons. So we get some combat experience now. So we're gonna double check our ships, make sure they are all good to go. Definitely gotta figure out our crew situation. There's not enough people here to sail our ship, so we might have to more. Do not know. Got 
Let's see. Plumber. Pears. Like to get one fight in, so we're gonna definitely do our best. Get some crew here. That's not good. This has happened. I think this might be a good time to just cut it uh, if we're running into graphical glitches now. So we'll save the game here. Uh, we'll try and get to combat here at the start of the next uh, stream. So, yeah, my name is Eric. Thank you for watching uh, another former retro core and stream. Uh, we're probably, it's about halfway done with this campaign here. So a couple more ones and we're done with Uncharted Waters. So uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care.